Oh, hi there guys, my name is Paul Knight, I'm Change Ambassador for South 5. Um, just doing this uh, short video here, just to take you a quick run through the compression F connectors. Uh, just a few hints and tips uh, on how they go on and how, what uh, little things we've picked up along the way just to help you guys on the rollout in the next couple of weeks when the TMs will be coming out to see you to give you your new stock and uh, take you through the training. Uh, first of all, I'll just take you through the stuff you're going to be receiving. So. These are what the F connectors look like. This particular version is for the CT100 cable. This has got the blue end. This one here with the grey end is the CT63, so probably the one you'll be using the most, I guess. You'll also get a compression tool, which compresses the F onto the cable. There. Cable stripping tool, which has uh, two ends, so it's red for CT100 and white for CT63 so it just opens up like that so it does both and these blade cartridges on either end uh, are the only things to be replaced once they get blunt uh, you'll be able to order new cartridges just to replace this the whole tool doesn't get replaced so once you get the stock order on those guys they will come in little packs like this and as I said they will just be replaced as they are just like that well, the first cable I'll take you through is the CT63 cable that you will use mostly. So as we would normally make a little snip at the end just to split the cable. Yeah like so. This is the first tip guys. I'd recommend that you don't rip it open. Just try and rip it like you would do like a piece of paper. So rip it like this way, like that, like so. In this bit here you always get a sort of a, a bit of a lip there. You'll sort of get it on both sides there. Um, this is another top tip for you guys, okay? Make sure you try and get rid of that lip so you make the cable as flush as possible. You can do this just using your nail, or if you don't want to do that, you've got your strippers, you can just use the outside of your stripper just to get that little bit off because it will make it a hell of a lot easier, guys, for the uh, connectors to go on if that's as flush as possible. And it literally only is that, it doesn't take two seconds. Get your stripping tool. We're going white because obviously white is for CT63. Put it in the tool until it gets to the stopper. If I turn it around your seat, it goes right in there to the stopper. Then put your finger through the hole and you spin. Well, as you're spinning, you'll hear the cable being cut. So you just keep spinning until you can't hear that noise anymore. Also, you can look in the little gap you can see that there, you can see that it's cutting, it's cutting two places. Once you've done that, literally pull away like so, that leaves you with the cable nicely cut in the proper measurements that it's supposed to be for the F connector. Then you just peel back your braiding. Next top tip for you guys is the foil. As you can see on my F connector, the foil has kicked up there. That foil needs to be completely flat, guys, otherwise the F connector will not go on. And the top tip for this is get your connector first before you put it on. Put it onto the cable opposite way. So put it in completely opposite way to it would actually go on. Spin it round. So if, what that does is it flattens the foil right down. you're ready to put your F connector on. So back round, turn it round so the grey end goes on first. At this point guys, when you push it on, if you look down the actual barrel of the F connector just to see that it's coming through nice and flush into the into the F connector and then you just literally push it on, keep pushing until basically you get it flush at the top. So it's nice and flush at the top of the cable. Push that down a little bit more. There you go, just like that. There you go. Then you get your compression tool. So that has to go in at a slight angle so it fits in. And then it pushes down. So it's like that. And then you push down, snap, bring it back up. That's your CT63 
F connector. As you can see that looks uh, quite smart, very professional and there's no way of getting that off without actually snipping it off. There you go, that's CT63. We do CT100 cable now. There you go. Which is your red end. So, as I said, in there all the way to get to the stopper, start spinning. Some one way, some the other way. Same again, you can look through the gap to see whether it's cut twice, pull it away, like so. And same again, this is another top tip guys, this one has actually got the plastic around it, so get rid of that plastic, because it won't go on with that plastic on there guys. Get all your braiding down. Same thing with this one guys. Get your F connector. Put it on the opposite way at first. Just to flatten all that foil down. Give it a little bit of a twist. Make sure that foil is all completely flat. And then blue end. As I said, now the time is to make sure that it's going through completely right through the middle of the connector. Push. You'll know straight away because it will push straight on. Then with these ones, slightly a bit more force, just twist and push at the same time. Just go one way, go the other way, keep going. There you go, until it's completely flush at the end. And then the same thing, same compression tool for both. Put it in, the, in at an angle, down, snap. There you go. There you go guys, I hope the little tips and the little things that I showed you there will help with the rollout. Um, obviously your TMs are going to be rolling out the training with you and giving you your first startup stock. Uh, but just to remind you that the Change Ambassador team are here to support you so please if you do have any questions or you need any extra assistance please contact your local change ambassador thanks guys